months after announcing that one of the original characters, Kane, would be fully playable in Jump Force, Bandai Namco have finally added this villain to the game's roster, together with Galena. The addition of Kane and his evil sidekick will take place with the recently announced patch update that's gonna be released sometime next week. Aside from adding the two new characters, the update will bring a variety of other changes and additions to the game, most notable of which is the introduction of a brand new fighting style that's gonna allow players to use swords as their weapon. Jump Force currently features three fighting styles inspired by the three star anime shows present in the game, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and Naruto. These are categorized under letters A, B, and C. Now Type D, or Sword Fighting Style, is gonna be added to the game next week with Patch 1.10 and 1.11, and it's addition is gonna serve as a true breath of fresh air, especially for people who like to create multiple custom characters and experiment with different fighting styles and combos. The update will also bring a new online event called Raid Boss Battle. This will see players work together to take down a boss enemy who will be weak against fire type attacks this time around. Note that only clan members can take part in this event and that you'll need event tickets to participate. These can be purchased in the game shop, so obtaining them is no harder than spending some in-game cash. But if you still don't belong to a clan, then get moving and find yourself some clan mates before the event takes off, otherwise you will be left out of the action. And players who successfully complete this mission, will be rewarded with the great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 costumes, as well as with a bunch of cubes, event tickets, and boosts for attack and health points. While the new patch will indeed be bringing loads of exciting new updates to the game, there is still no word on the highly requested online rematch option. Back in February, Bandai Namco stated that they're looking for ways to implement this feature into the game, but there's been nothing but radio silence about it ever since. But nevertheless, it's good to see that Jump Force is still receiving love through free updates, and with Bandai Namco keeping their promise of adding Kane and Galena to the game, Although a bit late than we would have liked, there's still hope that they will add that elusive online rematch option sometime later down the line. So that's all you need to know about Jump Force's latest update. Let us know in the comment section below what other features would you like to see added to the game later on. We'd love to hear from you and please make sure to head over to alker.com for much more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Subrail and see you in the next video.